Where is she? Right there. I don't know if I'll be able to get her. I'm gonna go for it though. I got her! I got her! I got her! Oh, she's not happy, people. She, she's got a long neck. She'd probably get my nose. Oh my god, she's done! Oh, she's gone! Well, at least I've still got my turtle snatching skills. No! <laughs> Oh, hell's breaking loose in this video. Who will play me? Oh, you guys are in the water. Oh. Anyway, here is the Fly River Turtle. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Ken in here, and uh, we're going to talk turtles today. Uh, I haven't been down over here to the little pond where all the critters are. It's actually the big pond. Hey, look. There's that giant Asian wood turtle right there. We're going to uh, feed some turtles and see how many different species we can kind of get our hands on and talk about today. I love turtles, as you guys know. And right now, we've been having a lot of rain, so this place is looking good. It's pretty awesome. Um, so let's get things started here. Let's try and lure some of these little turds closer to us. There's one. What do you think this one is, guys? What do you think? Let's grab it and see. Oh my gosh, what kind of turtle do you think this is? It looks strange, doesn't it? Hmm. It's a North American species. It is actually one of the most popular pet turtles on the planet. It's actually a red-eared slider. It's a melanistic red-eared slider. When these guys get older, they lose all their colors. And those colors turn black. And this is just a very old red-eared slider. So there you go. That's turtle number one. Get going, kid. Oh boy, we got a big one coming. We got a big one coming. We might as well try and get this guy since uh, he's massive. We haven't seen him in a while. What I'll do is I'm gonna put you guys down for a moment. You can see him. It's Mr. Orlydia. It's the king. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. I just saw a walking catfish. This is the king. Look, see that walking catfish right there? Uh, this is the biggest turtle we have in here. It is Orlydia borneonensis. We'll try and get him back. I was slacking. I should have grabbed him. Um, but he's a big turtle, man. Oh, boy. We got turtles everywhere. There's a little Florida red belly turtle coming in. She's super friendly, by the way. And uh, what I want to do, though, is I want to show you... Oh, wow, look at this. How many different turtles can we get close enough to us? I'm putting you guys back down. I'm going to go for a grab here in a minute. Come on. It looks like we have a Hillari right there. Can I grab that guy? I think I can. I got him. Oh, 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 look at this. How cool. Oh, my gosh. And here's... Here's the, here's the Orlydia just hanging out right there. Look at the size of him. Awesome. But what I wanted to show you was the side neck turtle. This is a side, well, careful. This is a side neck turtle from South America. It's, it's the Argentinian side neck turtle or, or uh, Phrynops hillari. Really cool species. Can take cold temperatures. This guy, there's about four of them in the pond here. One male, three females. And it is a side neck. So it can pull its head into the side. Really cool turtle that does very well in the pond here, and I've had them here now for a few years. Uh, just a very unique species. And you see these little tendrils underneath there? Those guys help them feel for uh, different crustaceans and food items and prey items in the muddy bottom, similar to our good old snapping turtles. We'll have little tendrils like that as well. All right, buddy. I'm sorry to upset you. This is a female. So there you go. We're gonna put her down. She's gonna run away. Sorry. Hey, this is fun though. Oh, this is my cute little girl. She is a cutie pie. She's shedding right here. What's going on? Ari, she's got just this one mohawk. See, because she's shedding. I want to pull this off so she looks totally clean. Oh, she got one patch. That's a little Florida red belly turtle. We're trying to get everyone over here. There are more interesting species in this pond as well. Let's keep throwing some food out. But look at how nice the pond looks. Well, nice and green. But what I'm happy about is that this pond has really filled up. And it filled up in the last week. And last night was probably the biggest rain we had in a long time. There's our Lydia. I want to try and get him out to lure him over. We also have soft shells in there. But there are really cool species. I love her. This turtle is so funny. 
She is so funny. She does not care about anything. She just loves her food. Um, these guys are fun. I like keeping this big pond out here. This is the reason I moved to this house. This pond was here. And years ago, that island was much bigger. And there was a bridge that went from here all the way to the island and there was a dock. But the very first year I moved in uh, was 2004 and we had two major hurricanes go right over the top of our little town of Jupiter. Uh, we're talking about Hurricane Francis and then a week and a half later, Hurricane Jean. She, Jean was a three and Hurricane Francis was a two, but the thing that made her so dangerous was she just sat over us. She was only moving forward at six miles an hour. So we had hurricane force winds for hours, almost a full day of hurricane force winds. And what happened was the bridge got blown away. So uh, I had to get in there with a chainsaw and chopped it up. A lot of work guys, it was not fun. But uh, hey man, what are you gonna do? That's Florida, still love it here. I ain't ever leaving. But we got it. These guys are smart. They see me grabbing turtles. And so a lot of them are like, yeah, we're not going to come over here. Here's the uh, big soft shell. This soft shell is the one that my buddy Ed rescued from Bush Wildlife. And I don't know if you remember, but he tripped and fell when he was putting her over. Get her in there, Ed. Don't trip. Don't trip. Ed, Jesus Christ. Are you okay? You hey. Yeah, I'm perfect. I Thank goodness he didn't get hurt, but there she is. Big female soft shell turtle. Again, more of these Asian pond turtles. Uh, very cool species. Um, there's the soft shell face right there. There she is. She knows what's what's going on though. Big soft shell right there. Awesome. So many turtles in this pond. There's there's close to, if not over a hundred turtles. But oh, there's the Orlidia. Gosh, I want to grab that turtle. I really want to get that turtle and show you how big it's gotten. I'll stop messing about. She, oh man, they're both right next to each other. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Oh, 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 don't leave, don't leave. Oh my God, you're a huge, you're a monster. Oh my gosh. Oh, this turtle is probably about 60 pounds. Look at this guy. This is a big, big Orlidia. Now we've done a swimming with this big monster in the uh, rec pond, in the Aquascape ecosystem pond. Oh God, don't you, oh my God, oh, come back. Oh my God, you're huge. That's a big turtle. Um, anyway, that was cool. Glad we got a chance to see that one. There's so many cool turtles in here though. And some of them you don't see for a long time and then all of a sudden you get a little surprise and they just kind of pop up. So it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat living here. Let's keep giving these guys their food. I think they realize I'm not hurting them, but they are, they're not fans of getting picked up. Oh, and I better be careful. I got my phone in my pocket if I want. I should probably pull this thing out because I may want to do a, a jump and I might get wet. Is there anything? Oh, look at this. Cool thing about these Asian wood turtles is they'll wander around on land and they're very good swimmers as well. So I'll throw some food up there for her. They'll come out and eat on land. Now, some turtles like your sliders and map turtles and the hillarize you saw, they cannot actually um, swallow food uh, on land. All the cooters, here's that, there's that turtle. There is the soft shell. Should I try and make a grab for the soft shell, guys? What do you think? Hmm. I'm feeling lucky. She's slippy though, and she bites. So you don't want to get nailed. Oh boy, there she is. Oh boy. I don't know if I'll be able to get her. I'm going to go for it though. <laughs> I got her. I got her. I got her. Oh, she's not happy, people. Oh. Oh, she's not happy. Oh my God, big girl. Big mama, big mama. Hold on, I gotta get my camera. Easy, easy. Oh, there she is, you see. She's got a long neck. She could probably get my nose. But I, this is the only way I can kind of grab her. Oh my God, she's tough. Oh, she's gone. Oh, I wanted to talk more about her, but unfortunately that's not gonna happen. Oh. Well, at least I still got my turtle snatching skills. I did get a little wet, as you can see. But no worries. We'll keep going. Gosh, oh, it was getting hot anyway. So much fun, so much fun. Hmm, which reminds me actually, now that I'm all wet and slimy, maybe we should go check on some other turtles I have. I think so. Well, 
let's do it. Let's go see how the Badiger and Fly River Turtles are doing. It's been a while. I like to check in on everyone. We'll just grab these. Oh, like so. Oh, grab this. Grab the phone. And let's go. Oh, man. So much fun living in this backyard. You know, I always wanted, like, a life of adventure. And now, I don't have to go too far to get it. I can't wait till we build up this um, backyard even more. We are definitely making some investments in the backyard so that we can continue to have fun, educational content, and uh, check out this pond. This pond is kicking butt because it's been raining nicely. Let's walk the plank, shall we? This is my uh, half-butted little bridge. I like going in over here. I think the turtles are over here. I don't know. But we're going in, people. We're going to go in. We're going to see what we can find. I'm not going to try and find all of the turtles, but if I can get one of the Badiger and one of the Fly Rivers, I'll be happy. Um, I'm going to have to set you guys up over here because I'm going to leave this out. Because, uh, yeah, this is not waterproof, this GoPro. We have the uh, sound system on it. Oh. So what I'm gonna do, oh, it's very cool. Water feels nice and cool. Here, can you guys see? I think you guys can see. Oh yeah, don't fall in now, people. Oh, I just stepped on something. I just stepped on something. Oh, oh yeah. So anyway, you guys know I love it in here. I really didn't plan on going in here today, but I'm in here today. Here we go. I want a fly river. Oh, it's nice and muddy and the water's cool. Oh, that's great. Where are you guys? Oh, well, big turtle poop right there. Oh, oh, guys, I got something. Oh, ready. We got a Badiger. Oh, it's a male. Oh, it's doing so good. Look at this beautiful Badiger is doing nice. Hi, Mr. Badiger. Badiger of Finnis, Royal River Terrapin. You guys have seen him before. If you're new to the channel, maybe you haven't. Well, let me introduce you. This is a large riverine species from Southeast Asia that is under extreme threat of overfishing or overconsumption for the food trade because they get so large. Believe me, there's a female in here way bigger than this, uh, but they are a beautiful species. And uh, they came to me from uh, Bronx Zoo, San Diego Zoo, and the Fort Worth Zoo. Um, they are beautiful. They're out here living the, living the high life. They, they're pretty heavy. So they're doing well. And uh, look at these eyes. Aren't they beautiful? Can you guys see those eyes in there? Just an amazing species. I uh, love them. Really, really great. Lots of great weight on this guy. Whew. All right, let's let him go. Oh, very cool, huh? So that's awesome, man. Good to grab him. Now, what else we got here? I'm gonna switch locales. Switch it up for you. You don't wanna just be staring at the same spot, do you? I don't think so. Let's go in the deep end. We're in the deep end. And, uh, oh my gosh, yeah, this month's feeling nice. Um, but anyway, I love coming out, seeing the turtles. Um, it's fun living in your own personal zoo, I suppose, because I can go in the enclosures. I get to hang out with the critters. Um, and that is awesome. And it's a great way for me to just check on everyone. Oh, look at this, snail eggs. See those? Snail eggs right there. Those are, what is this? Oh, cypress knee. All right, so those are the snail eggs. You guys are gonna hang right by them so that maybe we could find one of these fly river turtles. It's been a while, man. We haven't done a lot of turtly stuff. So I wanted to make sure all you turtle nerds out there, like myself, are represented here on the channel. Oh, man. Oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, it's you again. Look at this. We found him again. It's the same male. Get out of here, you little loony dude. You can go that way. They're so funny. So funny. Oh, oh, let's bring you guys with me. I might be able to do this one-handed. I don't know. Let's see all these berries in the water and wood too oh, oh. i got somebody i got somebody oh, oh, oh. 
there. Oh, oh, look, it's the other Badiger. Oh man, it's it's the other male Badiger. Oh, that's who that is. Okay, get going. Hey, I caught him one-handed. I was gonna say, I didn't think that was a Fly River because I don't know if I can catch them one-handed. They are fast. They are fast. Woo! Okay, well, I know that there's an overhang here. Sometimes turtles like to it is a little sketchy when I put my hands underneath here, just because I'm flying blind. And I ah! Ah! I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't want to lose a finger. Was that good acting? Let me know in the comments below. I have no idea. Maybe I'll take up, uh, you know, I'll do it like a play. Ew. Something just swam past my nether regions. Okay, here we go. Look at this, more eggs from the snails. They'll hatch and drop right in the water. We got to find this turtle. We got to find a fly river. I called it out. We need to have it happen. Oh, oh boy. I wish this uh, pond was as clear as our wreck pond. I don't want to put any of those turtles in the wreck pond because they'll eat all those nice lilies. So I've got to be careful not to mess up that pond. Plus, I'm not sure if I want a lot of turtles in a pond that I'm swimming in with the family. We're going to go back over here, see if we can find a fly river. Plus, there's also this little channel that's developed. So hopefully I'm, I'm using my whole body. Actually, I'm using my hands to feel much like the Hillari uses his little chin barbs. The little chin barbs. They just go in the, in the mud and they feel around and next thing you know, boom, they grab whatever they find. I am gonna need both hands for these. So we're gonna put you guys back up here. We're gonna go for it. That's what we're doing. We're gonna make like Rocky and go for it. That's from a very, very old movie called Rocky. I think it was Rocky three. All right, here we go. Might have been Rocky four when he fought Ivan Drago. I don't know. Where's the Fly River? I don't know where it went. We're running dangerously low on battery. I found another one of those Badiger, but it was the male. What do you think? Should we go through here? Haven't been there yet. Let's go. Oh. Wow, I can actually walk. It's actually better though if I'm crawling. back in here now ta -da! oh I know I know easy does it easy does it. oh we got it we got the fly dabbing all over the place oh there he is, see? So he's looking good. Oh, let's get you guys set up a little bit better. Oh, oh. oh hell's breaking loose in this video. Oh, don't play me. Oh, you guys are in the water. It's still playing. Oh my gosh. I hope I got you out quick enough, GoPros. Oh my God. All right, here. Let's just do this. Okay. Oh, oh. Anyway, here is the Fly River Turtle. Oh, this one gave me a little trouble, but I'm so happy. And look at how beautiful it looks. A little bit of, looks like the other one might have bit him a little bit. That happens when you have 
uh, two of them in an enclosure, which is why we like it muddy, so he can get away. But other than that, the skin looks fabulous. This is a beautiful animal. It's the only uh, turtle that is freshwater that has flippers like a sea turtle. And they're found in Papua New Guinea and Northern Australia. And in the United States, to my knowledge, the only institution that has actually successfully bred these in captivity is the Bronx Zoo. In Australia, in their natural range, there are keepers who of course can breed them. And uh, they are just gorgeous. This is an amazing species. One day I'd like to set up an enclosure that we'll be able to see them uh, a little bit easier than this. But for now, they're doing extremely well in this pond. Very happy. They burrow in the mud and uh, well, that mud's just like a little spa for them. It really helps their skin. And these guys have real sensitive skin. It's very smooth. Their shell is hard, but covered with a little leathery skin as well, similar to a soft shell turtle. However, they're much more firm on the marginals here. Anyway, we did it. We got to see him. All right, we're gonna say goodbye. Say goodbye, everyone. Woohoo! see you, buddy. Hey, there you go, everyone. We made it. We had a little fun video. I'm gonna take the rest of this turtle food and I'm gonna go ahead and give it to those turtles back in the main pond. And uh, man, oh, whoa, 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 <laughs> I'm flipping. Uh, anyway, awesome, I'm really psyched. Thanks for coming along with me, helping me out, check up on the animals. I always love doing this. Uh, it's an important thing to do when you have a large group of animals like I have. And uh, hey, every few weeks, it's good to get in here, get a little muddy, be a kid again, and go turtling. All right, everyone, I'll talk to you again real soon. Thanks so much. We'll see you on another video. Don't forget, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of today's episode. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And head on over to patreon.com slash Camp for more exclusive content. All right, guys, take care.